Hello all, so this is the video lecture series of uh, basic VHDL coding for beginners and today in this video we will be discussing how to write the behavioral code for an AND gate that is how to write the behavioral code of a boolean AND gate so we know that for a boolean AND gate whenever the inputs are all of them are 1 only then the output will be 1 for all the other cases output will be 0 so that is the general functionality of a boolean AND gate so, we are going to write the behavioral code of a two input AND gate. Okay. So, whenever we are starting the VHDL coding, the first thing you, ha you have to write is the library files. So, library IEEE, use IEEE.std underscore logic underscore 1164.all. So, these are the two library files I have used here uh, because this is a basic VHDL coding and whatever built-in functions or functionalities or keywords which uh, are being used in this code will be imported uh, through this library files. Next comes the entity. Since we are only we are only writing the functionality of one module, one functional module here, there is only one entity. So, how to write an entity all we uh, and all we have discussed earlier uh, in another video. If you have watched that video, then it will be easy for you to continue uh, understanding this behavioral code of AND gate. So, this is a very basic form of writing an entity. First is use the keyword entity followed by an entity name. One thing to make sure is whenever you are using an entity name, make sure you end that entity with the same name. Okay, so AND end, AND end is the name which I have used here as entity name. Then is after that port, the port is that place where we list out all the signals used. There are different kind of signals, input signal, output signal, in, out, buffer. So, for this uh, code or those for this uh, function or for this uh, video, in this there is only input and output signals. So, there are two input signals which are X and Y. F is the output signal. So, we describe the input signal as in std underscore logic and output as out std underscore logic. Now, end entity name. Followed by the entity, we have to write the architecture. So, architecture is written like this. First, use the keyword architecture followed by an architecture name of whatever entity you are going to define or whatever entity's functionality you are going to define here, use that entity name, which is AND int, that is same as this entity, is begin. I have written a process. Inside the process, I have written the functionality. And here I am uh, using two signals in the sensitivity list of the process, which are X and Y. So, this X and Y is actually controlling the output. So, it is being listed in the sensitivity list. Begin, compare to truth table. So, as per the truth table, whenever only x and y is 1, then output is 1. For all the other conditions, output f will be equal to 0. So, this is a very basic thing. If you are an electronic student, you should be knowing this by heart that AND gate will uh, only give output 1 when all the input signals are 1. For whatever condition uh, else, it will be 0. Then, since I am using an if, and if then process and process so if you are using a process make sure you have to end that process and if you are using some uh, conditional statements like e for four make sure you have to end that also uh, so this is how you have to end then followed by behavior which comes in the most uh, uh, outer layer so architecture architecture name is behave1 you can see here behave1 is the architecture name so end behave1 so on the outer uh, layer comes the architecture after that process then the most inner one is if statement so the ending will be like from inner to outer end if end process and end behavior that is behave1 is that nothing but the architecture name Okay. Now, so this is one way of writing the uh, architecture. Another way is simply by using the Boolean function AND. That way it is very easy because Boolean functionalities like AND or XOR, XNOR 
is already been defined inside the VHDL coding. So directly by using the keyword and you can get the and functionality. So this is how we write architecture using that method. So architecture behave to because this is a second architecture. So another architecture name of and end which is the same entity. Please remember that for this code we only have one entity. So we use the same entity name is begin f is assigned the value of and functionality or and operation between x and y. So if you uh, know that there are keywords like and or x or x not and if you put that in between two input signals it gives the output of that functionality between the signals. So here nothing but we are taking the boolean and of x and y and the result is been assigned to f signal. Then end behave to it is nothing but the second architecture name. Yeah. So this is how we write the behavior coding of AND gate in VHDL coding. Please keep on watching this series uh, in order to get better understanding of basics of VHDL coding.